From Hell's Kitchen to Kitchen Nightmares and MasterChef, cooking reality shows are an absolute treat to watch. But it's not always delicious, appetizing meals. Sometimes the judges have to taste absolutely disgusting food. One of Gordon Ramsay's most popular shows is Kitchen Nightmares, an American reality series in which Chef Gordon visits some of the failing restaurants across the states in an attempt to revive their businesses. But in his endeavor to save the failing businesses, Gordon has had to come across some very disgusting dishes, some of which were so bad that it made him sick. Here's a list of some of the dishes that Gordon Ramsay had to taste in his famous show, Kitchen Nightmares, that made him sick. The Dreadful Gravy in Season 5 of Kitchen Nightmares, Chef Gordon Ramsay visits the Prohibition Grill, a southern restaurant in Everett, Washington. The restaurant's owner, Rishi Brown, is not your usual restaurateur. She is a professional belly dancer who managed to run a dance company for years. So one day, when she had quite a few drinks, she stumbled upon an idea. If I can run a dance company, I sure can run a restaurant. Let's do that. And she did. Safe to say her restaurant adventure didn't turn out as she had hoped, losing up to $100,000 a year. I know, surprise. Turns out dancing and selling food aren't similar at all. Who knew? Gordon has one of his most mortifying kitchen nightmares experiences at Prohibition Grill. On receiving a complaint about a gravy, Gordon has the food sent back to the kitchen to trace the problem. Out of curiosity, he takes a spoonful of the gravy, but he couldn't even get it down his throat and had to spit it out. It turns out that the gravy was made the weekend before and as a result is gritty and sour. Soon after, Gordon has them pull every meal with that nasty gravy from the poor customers. Prohibition Grill had been feeding their customers at best stale food. I'd be surprised if people hadn't been walking out with food poisoning. Sheesh. Gordon's Misadventure at Blackberries in one of Kitchen Nightmares episodes, Chef Gordon Ramsay visits Blackberries in Plainfield, New Jersey, a soul food restaurant which is owned by Shelley Winters. Shelley used to run a successful catering business, but a catering business is quite different from a restaurant, and it looks like Shelley didn't understand that. She believes that everything from the food to decor and the location is just perfect, but everyone else around seems to disagree. Gordon arrives at the restaurant and orders his sample meal, collard greens, pork chops with mac and cheese, chitlins and red velvet cake. His first meal to arrive is the pork chops with mac and cheese, which is overcooked and mushy. Next comes the collard greens, which are no better either. But the biggest disaster of all is the chitlins. They smell, and Gordon even asks for a prayer before tasting them. But the praying didn't help much. The chitlins tasted even more awful than they looked. They are so bad that Gordon goes to the bathroom to throw up. Thankfully, the red velvet cake is good. Maybe it is slightly redeeming. The not-so-classic American Chef Gordon Ramsay travels to West Babylon, New York to visit Classic American, a restaurant that didn't really live up to its name at all. The owners were struggling with mounting debts, finding it really hard to keep the restaurant running. You know what? I take it back. That sounds exactly like a Classic American. Struggling in tons of debt is as American as you can get. On Gordon's arrival, he finds that the waitresses and the kitchen staff are fighting and the service is horribly delayed. Even when the food starts going out, things are no less than a disaster. The customers look highly dissatisfied and some even look baffled on seeing their meals. Gordon decides to taste a sandwich that was complained to be having too much sauce. He takes a bite and then immediately spits it out in the trash. Gordon also notices a pathetic-looking plate of broccoli going to one poor customer and tells them that if they are going to serve that, they might as well close. This has to be one of the most dramatic Kitchen Nightmares episodes ever. La Frite Chef Ramsay visits a family-owned restaurant La Frite in Sherman Oaks, California, where he is met with absolutely horrendous food. The French restaurant was a big success when it was owned by André, but ever since his retirement, the restaurant is failing miserably. Gordon finds out that his son Alex and daughter Celine are competing to be the next owner, and their tussle is the recipe of failure. At the restaurant, Gordon offers Celine's recommendation, the quiche Lorraine, and a Lafrite salad and a seafood crepe. 
The salad comes in a huge serving, but it is absolutely bland and acidic. But at least Gordon could swallow it. The seafood crepe was so awful that Gordon spits it out the moment he eats it. It didn't even look the slightest bit appetizing, with Gordon calling it hideous. The chef Martin is stubborn, and he believes there's nothing wrong with his food. He even lies when Gordon asks if the key should be microwaved. The restaurant is a complete disaster. No wonder it was failing badly. The Sushi Pizza Pizza is many people's comfort food, while some absolutely love eating sushi. But have you ever tried a sushi pizza? Even the name sounds weird. Gordon Ramsay had to try this horrible fusion dish in Kitchen Nightmares. In the episode, Gordon visits Sushi Co. in Thousand Oaks, California, a Japanese restaurant owned by a married couple. Although the restaurant started out great, it has been going down the hill for some time now. With fewer and fewer customers, the restaurant looked like a looming failure. Gordon arrives at the restaurant attempting to find out what was wrong. He orders a miso soup, something called a green tower, and a sashimi. Gordon's curiosity even makes him order the sushi pizza, which tastes so bad and rancid that he had to spit it out. Gordon is no doubt too dramatic, but this response on the sushi pizza was surely expected. Gordon went one step further and covered the dish with a napkin. Seems like he couldn't even look at it. We wonder what made the chef concoct this horrible dish. The Horrid Shepherd's Pie The celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay has had many awful dishes during his kitchen nightmares years, but this shepherd's pie is matchless. Chef Ramsay visits Finn McCool's, an Irish-themed family pub owned by the retired policeman Buddy Mazzio. Buddy retired after 20 years in service, and within a day he opened his restaurant. On Gordon's arrival, he finds that the restaurant is unusually quiet. He even comments that it looks like a funeral parlor. Gordon then orders spring rolls, salmon, and a shepherd's pie. To his bad luck, everything is a complete disaster, with the salmon soaked in a balsamic sauce and the strange-looking and weird-tasting spring rolls. But the shepherd's pie has to be the most awful dish Gordon has ever tasted. A big ball of grease, a bite of which makes him so sick that he has to rush to the bathroom. Ew! In the episode, Gordon even dons some rubber gloves to help the family deep clean the whole restaurant. But with that shepherd's pie, we are not sure if that restaurant can survive. Grasshopper also Another restaurant where it became unbearable for Gordon to keep down his food was the Grasshopper also in Karlstadt, New Jersey. The Irish pub was successful at first, but then the business took a downturn. Apparently, the owners were clueless as to why the business was failing miserably, and so Gordon decided to help. At the restaurant, Chef Gordon orders the French onion soup, shepherd's pie, and fisherman's platter. All of the food that comes out of the restaurant's kitchen on Gordon's table is horrible. The French onion soup tasted like onions drowned in dishwater. The fisherman's platter came with cold, bland, rubbery scallops. And the shepherd's pie was an insult to a shepherd's pie. It was a cottage pie with a gravy that was cold and looked like glue. It was so disgusting that Gordon became sick. Shepherd's pie is a famous Irish delicacy. However, after tasting this shepherd's pie, maybe Gordon would never eat this dish again. Gordon Ramsay is known for his way too dramatic responses and nasty remarks, but seeing these dishes, we cannot help but agree with the celebrity chef. When the dishes look so bad and taste that horrendous, you are bound to spit them out. Okay guys, that concludes our video. Click one of the videos on screen right now. See you in the next one. Till then, take care.